Playing with the titties, bro. Yes, yes, yes. DMT nipples, bro. All right, guys. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're going to see yet again another so-called spiritual young raw vegan. His name on YouTube is Raw Light and Free. Today, he wants to show us his five-day juice cleanse results. What is up, guys? It is Juan. What's here. up, bro? And today I'm going to be talking about how I broke my <clears throat> five day. All right, right off the bat, why do I get the feeling that I'm sitting right in front of your naked crotch? What kind of video setup is this? Some new VR porn? Fast. Today. Okay. I would have kept it on <laughs> for longer, but I decided to make an excuse. <laughs> Did you see the stop. nipple? <laughs> my excuse was that oh um, my God. I'm leaving for Europe tomorrow and I wanted to have one last meal with my dad before I left. And okay. it was a, oh man, it was a good meal, okay? Let me tell you. What was it, Juan? I broke my fast with some persimmon, some olives, <laughs> what is this? Uh, a raw vegan coleslaw, <sighs> a raw vegan sauerkraut. I know it's kind of like a jumbled mess, but it somehow worked out. I've I combined it in a way, and I ate it in the right order, and I had some cucumber. In the right... And then that was... Why are you playing with your nipple all the time? What's up with that? Is that some sort of new way to channel your energy into your vessel? Juan. Anyways, of course, it somehow worked out, as you just said. You were starving for five days drinking juice. No matter what you would eat, it would work out. It would feel good because you finally get some food. The one part of the meal... And then for the next half, I got some oh, some of these uh, raw vegan power wraps, Texas oh. barbecue. It's made with Texas sprouted barbecue. sunflower seeds and nori rolls. And I also took some avocado and I dipped some raw vegan chips in it. And mm -hmm. I ate it. And it was... <laughs> <laughs> so it was a real high fat... And then I took the raw vegan chips and the barbecue. I didn't want to simulate meat at all. I wasn't craving meat. I was taking seeds and pre-packaged foods from companies to channel my energy into my... And the persimmon was high in sugar, so it was just a high... Everything was high in sugar. And my stomach was <laughs> more... My stomach is... My gut is just upgraded after this fast i believe you yes okay so he just said himself it was filled with sugar hence therefore hashtag vegan logic it was full of nutrition no sugar is a macronutrient a non-essential macronutrient at that you don't even need it you can live off fats and proteins i know shocker big surprise to especially the raw vegans now you take that sugar which is completely devoid of micronutrients and somehow you get to the conclusion that that meal is nutritious <laughs> such a good fast you know mm. yes <laughs> so thing is ecstasy raw vegan. i love it guys you too just sitting in between his legs and watching him play with his nipple Totally fine, right? This is still up on YouTube. Meanwhile, yours truly gets demonetized, gets deleted. <laughs> For two years. Uh, no worries. Uh, because, um, you know, mm. humans, uh, I'm not even going to get into that. I eat raw living food with the life force energy intact in the foods. I eat my carbs, my proteins, and my sh uh, fats and raw. <laughs> Sugar. <a lot. laughs> No, you don't eat fat because you don't eat animals. If anything, you eat plant oils. That is it. Proteins, which ones? All the protein that you talk about is wrapped in fiber and anti-nutrients. You cannot absorb anything. Sugar, correct, you can get from plants. Yes! That way I can feel Bliss. raw and alive. Oh, wow. And that way I can be ripped. I actually don't work out. Like, sometimes I'll look at... Yeah, he just admitted to being absolutely narcissistic and self-obsessed. I've been in bodybuilding, I've been into raw veganism myself, and I know what it boils down to in the end. It is body obsession. Of course, this is what you see with raw vegans. They are hooked 
on the look. What they want to achieve is a slim, trimmed down body. To be totally honest, it is an anorexic looking body in the end. But that is their beauty ideal. This is what they strive for. In the mirror and I'll be like, damn, you, you're you looking good for someone who doesn't work out, Juan. Fantastic, Juan. I mean, Juan. I, I had a weightlifting thing for like two or three days in a row in the past month. Sexy, Juan. I like three or four days out of this month. So I kind of had a little thing. Mm. And, um, you know. Don't forget the nipple, bro. As far bro. as the juice fast goes, um, mm. you know. You know. There it is. <laughs> um, you know. Yeah, no. I've come to Juan, 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 wait a second. If you watch this video, man, really, I just want to know what's up with the nipple. Please explain. So I've always heard that humans were meant to eat raw food and that cooking food. Exactly. You heard about it. And that is the problem here. You see it all over the Internet. Little entitled brats like this guy believing they found the truth. Entitlement, me, myself, playing through my nipple, channeling the universal energy I know how humans are supposed to eat. In reality, you just watched YouTube videos. This is all you did. You didn't go out into the jungle, into nature, into the forest to understand what you would eat in a natural environment. No, you're buying raw vegan barbecue bars, eating that with some other processed sugar junk, believing that you found the truth, watching probably John Rose on YouTube. It was the fall of mankind. And oh. I heard that <laughs> our brains used to be... Well, here's the thing. People think cooking made our brains bigger. That's bullshit to the shit. Bullshit to the shit, man. Um, to even master fire and to apply it to our food our brains had to be big enough <laughs> our brains had to already be big enough for us to master fire yeah, and apply so. it to food that is as i said john rose's ideology for us to master fire we already had to have a big brain not necessarily we had to have a certain brain that was able to make fire from there on, on we were able to cook food that's all and so we were already smart enough to do that and our brains used to be 1500 cubic centimeters in size and now mm. they're only 1300 cubic centimeters in size <laughs> so what does being a raw vegan for two years feel like you, you know that feeling when you uh seems dude, pretty like, ecstatic to me like like your brain just Oh. The raw living food activates your heart and your brain, and every cell in your body just explodes <laughs> with energy and life force. And mm. it is an amazing feeling that I think everyone should get to go through. If no, what you're describing is a sugar rush. Nothing more and nothing less. How do I know? I've been there. Okay, anecdotes, right? I'm giving you my anecdote. I'm listening to yours. However, if you look into the fruitarian community, we do not have a certain number. We know that 95% of vegans drop out altogether. 85% of them in the first three years. I would really love to know how many raw vegans drop out. I would say it's fair to assume that it's 99. 99999% This diet is not maintainable. This diet is not sustainable. This diet is not even a diet. It is a cult which has no basis in reality. You are running on the sugar right now. Right now, you're young. You feel good. Guess what? You could accomplish the same thing eating candies with your friends. It would be the same rush. After a while, you depleted your nutrient stores. You have no bioavailable micronutrients in your diet. They want. Um, here's the thing. You've been a raw vegan for two years. You think you're clean? You're not clean. Of you course not. Fast. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe some people get clean after just with just eating raw food. No, you never get clean. Water foods like the mouth. Spoiler alert, I've been vegan for four years. I've been around about two years raw during that time. Fruitarianism, juice fasting and whatnot. I never got clean. You know why? Because there's nothing to get cleaned out. That is the biggest spoiler. 
Try it. Do the juice fast. Do the 30-day juice fast, the 60-day juice fast. Do it all. You end up where you started. There is nothing to clean out. What you need to clean out is your brain. You are mentally ill and delusional. Start eating raw meat. Reclaim your health. And whatnot, but I've been eating watery fruits for mm. years. And yeah, and nothing happens. The thing is, when you're eating any type of food, um, well, you know, I used this analogy in my last video, but let's say your car takes gasoline engine or gasoline fuel and you put diesel fuel in the engine instead. Your car might break down. Now, let's say nipple break vegetables, nuts and seeds and herbs, and you put meat, dairy, uh. and cooked grains and processed foods in it. Well, then your human engine might mm. break down. And mm. when your engine breaks down, do you... So you take a gasoline engine, you put diesel in it. Right, wait a second. I get the fuel analogy. But wouldn't you think that if you don't give your body enough micronutrients, your engine would break down? That is a serious question. Think about it logically. You do not have bioavailable proteins in your food. You do not have vitamin B12, D3, DHA, EPA, cholesterol. You have none of those things in your food. Do you believe that your engine will stay intact without the fuel? And the car breaks down. Yes. Are you just going to pump gasoline back in the car, <sighs> turn the car on and expect it to run again? No. No, it's mm. not how it works because you broke down the engine. So you need to stop. Uh, okay, by now I'm pretty sure I know what is going on here. Juan, again, if you see this video, please post in the comment section. I'm intrigued to know. I am pretty sure that you disrupted your hormone balance. Probably you're developing gynecomastia. I can see soft nipple tissue here. You're probably developing female breast tissue because of the phytoestrogens. And now your nipple is tingling and you cannot help but touch it. Raw vegan enlightenment. Fuel in the engine and fix the engine. And then you can put gasoline back in the car. Shit, man. And it's the same thing with the human body. If you eat the wrong types of food, then you are destroy your digestive system, uh, potentially. Yes, no, it is absolutely true. If you do not eat your species-specific diet, you will destroy your digestive tract. That happened to thousands of us. Everybody that went vegan will have digestive upset after that. Why? Because we haven't been eating our species-specific diet, which is meat. Unless you have like really strong <laughs> genetics or something like that. But you potentially destroy your digestive system. So mm. you can't just start eating raw vegan and completely heal yourself. You need to give your digestive system a rest. How do you do that? Because when you're With still juice eating fest. food, <laughs> any type of food, your digestive system says, huh, I still have 30 pounds of fries stuck in here. I still Because the thing is, raw living food, especially... <laughs> Okay, you really believe that the fries are stuck in your system. Do you really believe this? This is pure cult mentality. Those raw vegan leaders really perpetuate that dog shit. They tell you that the fries are stuck in you. My friend, it takes a couple of hours, then the food should be digested. You're gonna shit it out at some point. The mucoid plaque that you probably think of has never been found in medicine. Yes, I know, Western medicine, the pharmaceutical complex, they're all lying. Man, I know doctors, I know nurses, I know surgeons. Nobody ever saw the mucoid plaque. For people that never heard about it, this is allegedly the plaque that is in your body and has to be flushed out by only drinking juices. Complete delusion. It has never been found in any autopsy. That thing does not exist. It is a scam. Fruits have a lot of water and a lot of fiber, so they <sighs> move right through you. And we have a very long, windy, 30-foot digestive system. And the fruits and vegetables, the water and the fiber move right through you. But if Exactly. You so what stays in you then? Nothing. You don't get any nutrients. You're just triggering your colon to shit all day. Eat a burger, it's all dried up and sticky because the heat. It's pretty juicy, actually. It, the water evaporates out of the food. 
And so it's, it gets all dried and sticky, and it's like the bread, the gluten, it's like glue, you know, gluten, glue, the bread is very sticky. And so yeah, they named it gluten as well because it's glue. It's just like it moves through, but then it's like, and then it just gets stuck. Stuck. Shit. And then most people eat breakfast lunch. No, what do you do then? The burger is stuck. How do we get it out? So after you juice fast, I'm sure that you are shitting out burgers. Dinner. So you eat breakfast, eggs and bacon, and it's like, gets stuck. And then you eat lunch, and it's like, get stuck. and then you eat dinner. And, <laughs> and then you do that for... And then you play with your nipple until infinity. Man, all of those foods that you described, bacon and eggs, there is nothing about it that could get stuck. All of those foods have zero fiber. That means they get assimilated. That means they get digested. None of that shit comes out the other end. 90% of it gets absorbed. That is the perfect human food. A couple of decades and it's just like... <sighs> and like that's why you see the people with the What? big old bellies. And I didn't even have a big old belly, but... And then you try to put raw food in there. Okay, so do you think that the big old belly comes from meat? It comes from plant foods. It comes from beer. This is where that shit comes from. And everything's all... I can't. <laughs> and then the I raw can't. food, your body tries to move it through. And it's just like... <laughs> But if you do a fast, like I just did a, a five-day juice fast, you're just throwing liquid in there. Mm. And so it's like repairing the engine in your car. It gives the digestive system a chance to rest. And it's just flushing out all the old... What are you talking about, Juan? How does that make sense? How do you give your body a rest? Really, explain it to me from any nutritional angle. How does it make sense? All that raw food has a ton of fiber. You said it yourself. Now, how will that get digested if... Fiber is indigestible. It is called insoluble fiber because it is not digestible. So therefore, how can you say you're putting your body at rest? It has to work double and triple as much. Junk that you used to eat, you know, all the old, and you just <laughs> poor guy, man. Man, I was raw vegan for two years, and it did. Uh. It wasn't anything compared to fasting when i did the juice fast for five days i was pooping the entire five days and i had aliens come out of me and i feel no. so much better no you didn't so much better guys you're just reciting what your guru john rose said what kind of aliens came out you were just shitting what came out is the fiber <laughs> oh, I, I took a picture of my, uh, my poop. Uh, if you email it me, I can send it to you. Please. On the fifth day, I can't wait. Like, there was like these slimy, like war, like just this mucusy, wormy, parasite-looking things coming out of me, and there was these like mm. black things Fiber. that were. My intestines were blown out from all the cooked food, and it was. <laughs> and now that it was blown out, the water helped to flush it back out, and I was pooping out like the, these hard, black, mm. mucusy, slimy poops, and my intestines were just coated with filth, and I was just oh, wow. flushing out all that filth for five days, and the gut and the brain... That are sounds like you should go to the doctor, if that is really true, which obviously it is not. It is always the same. This is self-diagnosis. Everything was coated in black. How do you know? Did you do a colonoscopy? Did a doctor check it out? Did anybody look inside you? Nobody did, Juan. This is pure delusion. They're directly connected. There's actually more neurons in the gut than there is in the brain. And no, they're not more neur neurons. What? Healing as well, because when you, uh. you know. Not more neurons, they're nerve endings. Now, when I was a little kid, sometimes, you know, my, my parents would yell at me or, you know, throw Poor stuff at you. me. you. And, you know, uh. I had a very kind of a rough childhood. And a mm. lot of times I would oh. eat food to make me feel happier. Oh, uh, special snowflake. You've been the only one. Your parents handled you roughly. Poor Juan. It is always the same. People looking into the past. What went wrong in my childhood, in my previous life? How can I heal? How can I be special? Me, Juan, come here. Sit in between my legs. Worship my cock. Look at me playing with my nipple. Listen to my wisdom. I know it all. thing is, because I was using like food as a drug, you know, to make...
He just said it as a drug. If I wouldn't know better, I would say this kid is totally drugged out. But I know what is going on. This is veganism. This is mental illness. This is what happens to all of them. A B12 deficiency cannot be sustained. A DHA and EPA deficiency cannot be sustained. This is what we see here. This kid is starving. His brain is lacking nutrients. Obviously, he does not eat. And now he's presenting himself like this on YouTube. This is again, absolute human suffering, self-induced. Thanks, YouTube. Made me feel better. And because I gave up food for those five days, I started to process my old emotions as well as clean out my digestion. Now you were just hungry. So my my so you got sad because the gut and the brain are connected if you eat thinking, you get happy clearer because happy happy burger time clearer, i was able Meat. to um man i cried multiple times yes of course you did throughout the fast <laughs> because i was feeling those old emotions oh, and i was God. processing them and releasing them because when you go from when you stop digesting food you start to digest the old food that you ate that never got digested <laughs> and then once you digest some of that food you start to simultaneously digest your old emotions oh that's how it works and man i would my breathing got so much better because I cleared out so much stuff here that I was able to just breathe. Like, I'll just show you, man. Like, just, just watch it. Show me, man. Yeah, just, just show me, bro. Yeah, just watch Juan, guys. By my signal. Pretty bloated belly, yes. There's still a lot of fiber in there, for sure. So what am I watching now? What is this? Why? What is happening? Juan, enlighten me. I do not understand. I'm a mere mortal. A flesh-eating zombie. Please tell me what I am observing. Am I even worth looking at this? Witnessing this? A true enlightened being. <sighs> yes. So beautiful. Yes. Yes. That was very blissful. Yeah. I was I took a nice slow inhale and a mm. nice slow exhale. It was amazing. The lungs produced mm. the most DMT in the body. <laughs> I just felt that. That blissful DMT rock. Yes. And you know, this juice fast really uh Oh play with the titties, bro. Yes, 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 DMT really nipples, bro. This is amazing. This is absolutely beautiful. We see true enlightenment in front of our eyes. Thank you so much, Juan. You make me cry. It is absolutely beautiful, blissful. I want to breathe with you. I want to touch your nipples. I want to massage your chiseled abs until I slowly but surely touch that crotch. All right, guys, the video is long enough. <laughs> We're not even halfway through. We reached 11 minutes. The whole video is around about 20. Maybe, maybe I'm going to do a part two of this if you want to keep on listening to Juan. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to continue with this video. For now, it is long enough. If you enjoyed it so far, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And guys, if you want to support the channel, all the links are in the description box below. So we have Amazon links for you. You can head over there, buy whatever you might want to buy, and it doesn't cost you anything extra. We get a small share. That is a fantastic way to support Bobby's perspective. If you want grass-fed beef delivered to your doorstep, butcher boxes for you. And we have CBD links as well. On top of that, guys, consider supporting Bobby's perspective through Subscribestar or Patreon. We have a VIP community there where we have Skype group calls every single week where we can discuss any topic, no matter if it is health, lifestyle or nutrition related on top of that by joining you straight away receive your comprehensive nutrition guide it is an ebook that teaches you the basics of nutrition but goes beyond as well and is catering to your personal goals no matter if you're keto primal paleo or even raw thank you very much for your support and as always guys much love and peace